This week is the 15th of Av, the Israeli Valentine's Day. And in this regard, I'd like to tell you about a very popular show called Married from First Sight. On this show, men and women meet their spouse for the very first time at their wedding. All parameters are taken into consideration in order to make the perfect match, meaning a scientific calculation of what goes with what, and it's done by professionals, not amateurs, and it doesn't work. Most of the couples break up during the first two months. What's the glue that's missing? What is it that we don't know? They can't take the character into consideration. The entire success of a relationship is based on the willingness to concede. Whose willingness to concede? Each of them? To concede what? Everything. I concede to my wife and she concedes to me. And it is specifically upon these concessions that we build our family. The word concession in and of itself is a weak word. Who concedes? The weak concedes to the strong. No, who then? The strong concedes to the weak. Where did you ever see something like that? You want to build a family, right? Very much. So that's the code. That's the key. The one conceding in the relationship, what does he gain? He gains peace, connection, tranquility, and love, and eventually he shows the other side how things should be done. And then there's a really good and correct connection between them upon all the concessions. Today, young people have a really hard time to find a spouse. Naturally, they really want to have a good relationship, and it's very hard. Why? Because they don't want to concede, each with their own pride, domineering. No one can concede nothing to the other. So what's the future of relationships? To learn how to concede, and suddenly you start discovering that through concession you get much more. Can you give us the very first exercise for concession? Practically, how to do it. Start conceding to her and whatever you can. Start learning how pleasant it is to concede. It's not pleasant. It is pleasant. It is and how much you gain from it. What do you mean, pleasant? And that precisely by that do you bring the other side to concede as well. But I have to convince myself that it's pleasant. I want something, she wants something. Do what she wants, she should do what I want. Show her that you are doing what she wants. And then, and then you will see that by that you're gaining what? An attitude. On the bottom line, it's a matter of attitude. My teacher, Rabash, used to say that a family can exist only out of mutual concessions. How do you define love? That we treat each other nicely, conceding to each other and that we build and build and build it over years. And then comes a feeling called love. And it's the same with the Creator, too. That we hate Him. Who? The Creator? Yes? Why? Is it not clear? I don't even know who He is or if He exists. So much so that you don't want to know Him. He's a part of our relationship? Of course. How? Try to think that He is your spouse. God? Yeah? What would you do then? Concede and concede and concede until you will come closer and closer to Him and that by that you will also convince Him to take you into consideration and near you. Look, why shouldn't God concede to me if we're talking about concessions already? It won't work, neither with God nor with your wife. Why? Because it depends solely on you. Here you don't ask about the other person. That's the key not to ask? Yes, but then you will see what a strong weapon this really is. That you don't have to put pressure on the other side. That you don't have to convince her of anything. Thing. But by showing your concession, you simply win them over, the Creator and your wife.